Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Scorpio. Hi Scorpios and Scorpio cross watchers. This is going to be for January 2019 and this is general. So this may not resonate with everyone. Remember, this is sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. And also if you are the cross watcher, it could be relevant for you as well. Um, time is an illusion and energy is fluid so if this has already happened then take it as it resonates and if it hasn't happened yet make that as it resonates okay here we go january 2019 scorpio what messages do you have for scorpio not feeling that one right there that fell all over that way Scorpio. Twenty nineteen January. Well, something is trying to come to completion, but you are fighting it. Uh, it landed right on the nine of wands, and you have the eight of cups. Something is trying to come to a complete close. A cycle is trying to end. But you are fighting it. Nine of Wands is this energy of being on the defense or fighting something. And that's what it feels like here because you have the Eight of Cups, which would be us having to walk away from people, places, and things that do not serve us any longer. <coughs> the World card is a card of travel too. So for some of you, you may travel a lot or the person that, you know, this other person is someone who travels a lot. Or you guys might possibly meet each other while traveling. It's also just a card of full completion. Something is trying to end here and you're not letting it is what it is. You know, the nine of wands can sometimes be about us fighting for something, right? But you have to know what to fight for. And you also have to know when it's time to put the swords and the wands down. It's like you put up a good fight. But this cycle is ending. This Eight of Cups energy, see the full moon in the background right here? This January 21st full moon is going to be huge for everybody, especially water signs, because, you know, you guys are very heavily affected by the moon because you guys are water. If you have a lot of water placement in your chart. This is the time the universe is saying, it's time to let this go. You've done everything you can. Whatever this is, work, love, Whatever it is, they're saying, you've done everything you can. It's time to close it. Close it out so the new can come in. And the new is trying to come in here with the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving energy in the entire deck. This is the, the new, these new opportunities, these new beginnings. It cannot come if you don't say goodbye to the past and open the door to the new beginnings. You, they can't look at that. I mean, drop the fucking mic. The Ten of fucking Cups. I mean, you can't make it up. You cannot make this shit up. The Ten of Cups is this card of having it all. The fairy tale. The happily ever after. That is what is coming to you. It's trying to come to you. But it cannot if this door here is closed. Or if you refuse to say goodbye to the past. Or to let something or somebody go. Remember now, we lose what we cling to. And also, we all want this. You don't want to feel like you're settling. Or you don't want to feel like I have to, right? Because it's what is the best thing for me. Is it the best thing for you? Or are you making everybody else happy? Are you happy? Right? This is having it all and feeling like you do because sometimes what other people see as having it all in don't mean shit to me or you or somebody else right this is going to be different for everybody this might be career for some people for some people this might be in a committed relationship being married and having children the fact remains is that this is trying to come to you but it cannot if you keep closing the door to the new because you're so stuck in the old it's basically just what it is. I can't wait to do your second um, spread in the extended version. All right, guys. 
If you'd like to purchase the extended reading, click on the link below. Reminder, I do have some of my intention bracelets still in stock, but most are out of stock. Thank you for your patience on that. If you would like to book a reading with me, click on the link below. Also, if you guys would like to um, come and see me on Oahu, my event is this month, Sunday, January 27th from 1 to 4. And it was a blast that we had in New York. It was absolutely amazing. You guys, for all of your support, I can't even tell you. A lot of Scorpios follow me. You guys know that as an Aquarius, I'm the water bearer. So water signs just are really drawn to me. And I have a lot of very important people in my life that are Scorpios, such as my father and my grandma. My mom is on the cusp. And I've had, you know, very important Scorpios in my life. So... I love Scorpios, I do. I love all 12 signs, but I really love you guys too because, you know, Scorpios have a special place in my heart. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the extended version. Love you.